Welcome to AndroidVideoReview.net's first look at Gingerbread Google Android 2.3 for the Motorola Droid X. I am the Sherwinator, and as you can see here, my device is starting up. I'm going to show you from uh, start up all the way into Gingerbread uh, what everything looks like, and I'll walk you through some of the uh, updates. Actually, I was able to finally download Gingerbread sometime around 1 o'clock this morning. Uh, I was still awake and uh, I decided to try it out and I finally, as of today, June 1st, was able to download. The whole process took about 20 to 30 minutes from the time it downloaded and installed and got everything running. Um, and so far, I have to say that everything's been uh, real good. I mean, the performance has definitely uh, increased. Some of the looks I'm not crazy about, but I think that's more obviously a Moto Blur or Ninja Blur, whatever it's called, which uh, is a skin Motorola puts on their device. I'm not crazy about it. But uh, from a performance standpoint, the uh, phone is great. I'm going to walk you through. I'm going to let it boot up for a second. I'll talk to you about uh, what some of the updates are. Uh, there's a download manager app, and basically it's... The Samsung, like the Samsung Epic 4G, already has, like, and TouchWiz has, um, basically a um, a feature like an advanced task killer built right into the application. So this version of Gingerbread that I have now also has that. I'll walk you through that. Uh, it's got multi-touch key cording. It's a new ability to enter numbers and symbols with keyboard shortcut combos instead of having to change to the uh, numeric keyboard mode. What else do we have? We have the improved word selection and copy functionality, new user interface and color scheme, as I mentioned. Um, what else do we have? The uh, app groups, which is real cool. In the app drawer, you can basically organize it. So, like, if let's say you have sports apps, you can make a separate tab for that and look at only your sports apps. And if you have a finance, a bunch of finance apps, same thing. Uh, what else do you have? Emergent groups and smart contacts basically allows you to do some group messaging from right within the phone easier without having to use a third party application to do that. Uh, some new calendar options, the geotagging on the camera is better, the email application is a little improved, um, there's some also active sync improvements uh, that will help you sync up your email easier if you're a corporate uh, or enterprise user. And uh, that's better. That's about it. There's also improved battery life when using Bluetooth. It says. So basically, what I'm going to show you here is you can see right away. It's I mean it's snappy. I was having some problems with my old with 2.2 with Froyo, and now I mean it's responsive. My screen's a little got some stuff on it, so it's not as responsive as it could be. But even with that, I mean it's real. I mean, you can see it real quick, and I have a lot of applications running in the background a lot of stuff on my uh, phone on the uh, device um, so that's basically this is my home screen if I were to hit that I actually get kind of like uh, HEC you can't like move these around I don't think no but basically you can see all of your screens right there in uh, like right in front of you, you can select it but I only have you know however many screens I have five or six so it's not crazy but I guess if I had more then uh, that would be even more useful. Basically, you see on the bottom, there's some new design logos for the contacts, the, you know, the phone book. Your um, messaging is down here on the right now, and then also the application draw, instead of being in the middle, is right there. And right away, I'll show you. I mean, again, it's real quick. Up here, you, this is, it's showing me all apps. I can create, I can go to recent. Right now, I just put it on the phone, so that's the only thing open. Uh, downloaded, and then I can create a new group. You can also go right into the market from there, so that's real, you know, it, it's not that spectacular, but it's pretty cool. I mean, I guess also if you have, you know, hundreds of applications, which on some devices we do, uh, that can be really useful, some of those new features. The notification bar, as you can see, it's showing me my emails. I'm going to do that on the bottom. You can see it's a little, it's kind of transparent. You can see through, and then as you roll up, Kind of like that. It's real nice. Very smooth. Uh, what else am I going to show you? I'll show you the how you manage your applications. Click Manage Apps. Here you can see downloaded all on SD card and running. So if I were to click on running, 
this is like the task killer that I showed you. So it's going to open it up. And you can see I have a ton of stuff running in the background. But here, like, tickle, touch to talk. I can stop it. I can report. Um, you know, things like that. I can see how many, how much resources it's using, who it's connecting to, and uh, things like that. The keyboard, let's see if I can show you. It's also slightly improved. The uh, I'm getting haptic feedback. You know, by default, actually, I didn't turn it on, but it's it's allowing me to do it. And this is basically just the multi-touch keyboard. It's not swipe. And hell, you know, basically, it works real well. Nice big letters. It's a little different. It's nothing too crazy. Um, what else? I can do all these different features, but that's in there. Uh, that's basically the keyboard, and uh, that's basically what I've got for you right now. I'm still running a lot of tests in the background and uh, I'll, I'll do another review when I uh, get that running but for now let me see I'll show you the camera if it's really any different. I think it looked the same from when I used it before but um, it's up here. Camera Basically, yeah, looks the same. It says better autofocus and low light. I have decent light in here, so let's see how that looks. Yeah, looks all right. And that's it. It gave me actually a pretty accurate tag of where I am also on the top. I don't really want to disclose my whole location where I am. But um, that, I think, is basically it for now. If you guys have any questions, you could... Uh, send us an email about it. We're going to, like I said, run some tests. You can also uh, follow us on Twitter at andvidreview, and you can find us uh, there. And uh, basically that's it. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in a few hours or days with some more uh, reviews. Thanks, and have a good night.